Welcome everyone. Uh, in here I'm going to show how to mine it, uh, through Unminable and get paid in Dogecoin. So you can add Dogecoin to your coin wallet, however you have. Uh, what you do is you go to unminable.com uh, and it will show you all the different coins you can mine. And there's a bunch down through here. And what we're going to do is in here we're going to click on Dogecoin. When you do that, you can uh, it'll bring up this page, and you can use Phoenix Miner, LOL, NB Miner, T Rex, our Team Red also works. Yeah, T Rand Miner if you have AMD cards. Um, you can use either Ethereum. Uh, you can use Ethereum Classic. You can use Kapow, which is Raven Coin, and you can use RandomX for on your CPU. Um, this page I'll leave open because there's information here we're going to need. But I'm going to go over to my Hive OS farm first. And first thing I'm going to do is go into my wallets. You can click on wallets from your main Hive OS farm. And it'll bring you up this page. And I'm going to add my wallet. So I click on add my wallet. And for my coin, obviously I want to be paid in Dogecoin. So I'm going to scan down here and put Doge in here. And here it is, Dogecoin. And for my mining address, I've already have a, a coin, or yeah, Coinbase already set up. And this is my Coinbase. This to be my wallet, the one I'm going to use for this testing anyway. And I'll just copy that and go back over here and paste it here. And then I can make it whatever name I want to make it. So I'm just going to put uh, Doge dash unminable. And I can hit create. That'll create that. Now it's right here. The one I just created. So then I can go over to flight sheets. And if actually if I go back to workers first I'll show you my worker that I'm going to do I'm going to do this one which at the moment has AMD and Nvidia cards mixed in so I'm going to go back to my main farm and I'll go out here to flight sheets okay so in this flight sheet you'll click on add flight sheets and it'll start here and I'm going to do my AMD cards first so I'll click on coin and it'll be doge that I'm getting paid in and I can select the doge wallet that I just created and I always select uh, configure in miner and I'm going to collect uh, pick out team red miner for my AMD cards now obviously I have other cards on here so I'm going to add miner. I'm going to go to doge again. I'm going to do doge wallet. I'm going to go click configure in miner. And this is going to be for uh, team red miner. Or sorry, T-Rex. That will be T-Rex. Then I'm going to add again. I'm going to do my doge and this is for my CPU and I'll configure in miner and here I want XM miner er, X, XM rig but I want the new one so I'll scroll down through it's in here usually near the bottom right here now I can go back through and configure the, the miners for team red you go in here in the algorithm you're going to actually do is ethereum oops hit that button or the one i'm doing is ethereum you might be doing ethereum classic you might be doing ravencoin now here's where it gets tricky we'll go back over here to unminable and I'm going to set mine manually, and I want the East Coast, because that's where I live. So I put that, I'll grab that. 
and that goes here for the pool. Okay, for work, wallet and work. Now in the wallet, you'll have to put D O G E colon. And if you come back over here, you'll see why it says in unminable. For that section, you want to put D O G E colon your uh, wallet address and then your worker name. So I'm going to put my wallet address which is back over here to Coinbase. It's this one right here. It's what I'm using for this video. And I'll put it here. And then we put in a dot, a period, and your worker name, which in this worker is actually, okay. And for this worker, is actually Nomeo. G N O M. And that's my worker. And your password would be X. And you can apply changes. Now to go to T Rex Miner, your same algorithm would be Ethereum. which is what I'm using. If you're using Ethereum Classic or Ravencoin, then that's what you put in there. Your pool algorithm, you go back over here, and I'm using East Coast. So I'll paste that there. Password again would be X. And then your wallet template would be the same as we did before. And that gets that set up. And then for XM rig, for the CPU, you would turn CPU on. None of the others do I use. I don't touch them. Uh, your algorithm, which in here is not uh, Ethereum, it would actually be back. And like if you go back over here to Unminable, and you go up to here because we're going to be using the CPU information. Here's your port, or yeah, here's your port that you want to go to. And at the bottom here is how you set up your address for it. And your algorithm is actually down here near the bottom. It is random X XMR. So your pool would be your pool again, right here. And see, this one starts with RX, so it's not the same as what you're running before. So you put your pool here. Your wallet template would be your D O D G E colon and then it would be your wallet address and your worker name password would be X CPU I actually turn that on to the 1248 CPU configuration, I usually click on that. Do not turn anything else on and apply changes. Now, this is all set up. So you create flight sheet. 
and that creates your flight sheet in Hive OS. Now to activate it, you go over here to your miner, you go to your worker. This worker is running Ethereum, running to a shib wallet at the moment. So I'll go to flight sheet. I'll scroll down to the flight sheet that I just created, which will be at the bottom down here at Doge. And I hit the little rocket, then send it to moon or engage it however they want to do it. I can go back over here to overview and I'll wait for it to update itself, which may take a minute or so when it gets done uploading configuration. Okay, now the configuration is done. So I'll just restart the miner just to restart it to activate everything, make sure it's going good. And that should bring everything up. And it'll restart it as going to Doge. It says it here it's already going, but I like restarting my machines afterwards just to make sure they get a fresh run on the new flight sheet. Now, if you would ever need to know what your balance is on what you're making, you just take your wallet address and you just click on address here and it'll bring you over and you stick your wallet address in here and you hit search and it will show you what your balance is and this is just within a few minutes and this is what I've gotten so far uh, it has the option to pay every 12 hours whenever the balance is over 30 doge I usually don't leave it on I just let it mine when I want to balance I'll come in and request payout which it's not allowing me to now because the payout's not up to 30 doge uh, that's usually the way I make do it and that way you pay out whenever you feel like it yeah. If you have any questions, you can join us down into the Misfit Mining Discord, which I'll have a link in the description below. Um, myself and a whole bunch of other guys are in there. We can usually answer most of your questions. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, click the subscribe and the like button. And on your way out, if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, I have it over in... Uh, under buy me a coffee if you would uh, like to donate to help out with this channel there is a link in the bottom left hand corner that shows takes you over to there or that link is also in the description if you want to follow that along thank you for watching